Hello NIS learners, today we are talking about physical education and yoga. In that we will study lesson number 11 on awareness of lifestyle disorders. The objective of this lesson are concept of quality of life, factors affecting quality of life, classification of physical and psychological disorders and management skill of lifestyle disorders. Let us understand the perception of quality of life. World Health Organization gives very interesting perception about quality of life that each one of us perceive quality of life differently. An individual perceive it in context of their culture and value system in which they are living. They also perceive it in terms of their goals, expectations, standards and concerns. Nowadays we are living in technologically driven world that leads to industrial growth at the same time stress and tension when these two things are there it will also lead to some lifestyle diseases and disorders such as obesity hypertension and many more inactivity due to more screen time and less work indulgence in smoking alcoholism tobacco drugs also lead to lifestyle disorders. Let us understand the dimensions of quality of life. There are six dimensions. Number one, physical dimensions, psychological dimensions, social dimensions, spiritual dimensions, environmental dimensions and level of independence. We will learn each of them separately and understand what they are. When we are talking about physical dimensions, it is related to the physical body and physical work. That means the energy to do the work, optimal functioning of the vital organs, the complexion, bright eyes, at the same time rest and sleep. If there is any disturbance, it can cause fatigue, dis discomfort, pain, disease and so many things. Now we will talk about psychological dimensions. In a balanced situation with the expectation of the individual and the society, if a person has the self-esteem, positive thinking, negative thinking, body image, memory, concentration, these are different quality of life perceptions. When we are talking of social dimensions, it is related to the relationships with other members of the society and the responsibility to maintain harmony with the surrounding people, ability to interact with different types of people around and the capacity to adjust with one's environment. There is another dimension towards higher divinity that we call it spiritual dimensions that directs our life for the aims we have in our life for that we have to make some commitments we have some values beliefs ethics and the principles every individual set for himself or herself and mind it spirituality is not related to any religion or God. Now we have to also consider the environmental dimensions that is related to the improvement and development in communities, improvement in quality of life. We work harder for that and that also includes the laws to protect the life, health, safety, security, even the financial aspects are also considered in this environmental dimensions and the different types of opportunities for education and career. We have certain level of independence also. 
in day to day activities in our life mobility what are the medical aids we have in which when they are required and what is the working capacity of the individual and the system around now we will talk about the factors affecting quality of life there are four factors number 1 individual characteristics coping personality environmental characteristics let us learn one by one when we are talking of the individual characteristics it relates to the thinking and behavioral pattern of the individual how it recognize the attitude and values when we are talking about the coping factor it is the individual who cope up the stress how he cope up the stress strategy to find out the better solution to a problem the personality indicators indicates the optimism self efficacy self control self mastery self confidence esteem etc these are personality characteristics of an individual when we are talking about the environmental characteristics it is related to the poverty pollution unemployment poor housing low income many of them are not in the control of the individual but that affects the quality of life i hope you have understood the different perspective of quality of life different dimensions of quality of life thank you very much mm -hmm.